Hey, what's up, everybody? AP here from the Dope Fiends Comics. I hope that you are all having a safe and yet productive quarantine during the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. I myself have been experimenting quite a bit with projection mapping and painting using my projector and Photoshop to create designs that I then translate onto the canvas. Uh, this dollar bill here, I'm going to show you how I made it and how I plan on using Adobe's character animator software to create a digital puppet of President Obama for the face of the dollar bill here. So check it out! and you're not getting robbed. Our father who aren't in the White House crumble under pressure and then blow your own brains out. I'm sick of seeing immigrants in cages and we're all fucking tired of your Twitter tirades. You make it seem like the meek have no merit so you can line your toilet seat with 20 more carrots. Flush your toilet bowl with Saudi Arabian oil. I'll buy a heat and us until it comes to a boil. Step behind, cause I've been marginalized 
to them I'm not brown, but to you I'm not white. I'm stuck in the middle and both ends want to fight. And my district doesn't count because we don't vote on the right. Well, our right to vote is being erased. And they're stacking the deck for those who can't pay. The people in power are the ones who decide whose opinions are important and which laws to abide. One set of us for them, one set of us. A bias of white privilege is enforced by a judge. It's happened before the same crime, the same town. One gets a second chance while the other gets gunned down. women to go back where they came from if their government has failed it's because you won the election even though you didn't win your little coup seized power and the doomsday clock moved toward the 12th hour if no one's gonna listen to the sound of our voices then the time has come you've left us no other choices this country was founded by revolutionary men willing to die for the thought that we were all created equal feel the power of the american people Eight years ago, I said it was time to change the tone of our politics. In hindsight, I clearly should have been more specific. <laughs> and I am excited. If this material works well, I'm going to use it at Goldman Sachs next year. <laughs> Earn me some serious Tubmans. <laughs> and with that, I just have two more words to say. Obama out. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. You know I've got to talk about Trump. Come on. I'm just going to stop there. Come on. I see Mike Bloomberg. Mike, a combative, controversial New York billionaire, is leading the GOP primary, and it is not you. That has to sting a little bit. Although it's, it's not an entirely fair comparison between you and the Donald. After all, Mike was a big city mayor. He knows policy in depth. And he's actually worth the amount of money that he says he is. <laughs> the Republican establishment is incredulous that he's their nominee. Incredulous, shocking. Is he at home eating a Trump steak? <laughs> Tweeting out insults to Angela Merkel? What's he doing? They say Donald lacks the experience to be president. 
but in fairness, there's one area where Donald's experience could be invaluable, and that's closing Guantanamo. Because Trump knows a thing or two about running waterfront properties into the ground. I am so stoked at how this worked. Is this cool or what? So there you go. Projection mapped Obama puppet on my painted dollar bill canvas. Stay tuned for what's coming next.